with my comrades and welcome back to Zonolith. And welcome to the Zonolith 2021 overview. Now, a lot of you guys probably do not know what this is as a majority of my subscribers do come from this year, but essentially every year I like to just sit down and talk about how the channel went this year, talk about the highlights, uh, some of the best moments, uh, how we have improved from this time last year and then talk about the future talk about what's going to be coming next and What exactly you guys are going to be looking forward to in the following year with this case being uh, 2022. I don't want to waste any more of your time Let's jump right into the 2021 yearly overview and first of all, let's talk about some of the highlights and obviously let's get the elephant out of the way first Let's talk about the What If I Wrote Pokemon the Series Black and White Series. This series was the reason why my channel grew as much as it did in 2021. This series started as a simple concept. What if I were to write Pokemon Black and White? What if I were to take the story presented in the Black and White games and turn it into a story for the anime? Originally, I never had any intention of releasing this as a YouTube series. Originally, it was going to be something I wrote entirely, with every episode, including filler episodes, being in there as well. I remember some really ridiculous episodes, such as a, uh, a Pokemon Conquest episode where Ash and Silent would play Pokemon Conquest and become infatuated with it, while Hilda just looked on in embarrassment. Uh, but yeah, the Black and White rewrite started off as a series I was going to write and then upload, uh, but then I decided to put it on here because I felt like it was the best way for me to do it, put it in a brand new format, and the way I did it turned out to be extremely successful. As soon as the first part hit, my channel went from the 166 subscribers we started off 2021 with to 200 subscribers, and we just continually grew from there. We never stopped, we always kept growing, and by the time we hit June, I had reached 1,000 subscribers, and by the time we hit November, that 1,000 became 2,000, and now the channel is almost at 3,000 subscribers in one year, which is just insane. That is so insane and it's all because of this series. Now I know a lot of you guys really do like the black and white rewrite and it's the main reason and the main motivator as to why I decided that the main big content here on the channel will be Pokemon rewrites such as the following X and Y rewrite which is going to be coming out in 2022 and I have a lot of other rewrites planned after the X and Y rewrite and I hope you guys look forward to those as well. The biggest takeaway from the black and white rewrite was the battle between Ash and N. Truths versus ideals. That was the biggest thing that really was part of the black and white rewrite. And I felt like that was a really cool thing to tackle, a really cool thing to talk about when it came to the story. And I feel like that relationship really fueled that entire narrative. And I don't really think it's gonna be something I'm ever going to recreate because it was something really hard to honestly come up with. And it took me a very long time to finalize a lot of things. I mean. Even during the time of the Black and White Rewrites run, there were things I changed, such as having Iris beating Ash in the Unova League instead of Hilbert beating Ash in the Unova League. It was
was all just a matter of what I wanted to do and I felt like everything at the end of the day just fit all in place and it worked extremely well and I am so grateful for everyone who supported the series, who everyone who is going to continue supporting my content and this style going forward. It was just a fantastic series and I cannot wait for what is to come because I feel like we have a lot of cool stuff coming out next year. Uh, but the black and white rewrite, easily one of the best things to ever happen on the channel. And it's probably the thing I'm most proud of this year. Now, what episode is my favorite? It's probably the second part of the Unova League. Ash vs. N, Reshiram vs. Zekra. I felt like that part was really the part I put the most effort into, honestly. And I think that that part was just really good. I really enjoyed it. And I felt like you guys really enjoyed that. And it was a really good conclusion to the black and white portion of the black and white rewrite. Because obviously we had episode Kurum and black and white 2 afterwards. But yeah, I was super proud of that episode. And I hope you guys enjoy that episode. Because honestly, it's my favorite video I released this year. And I honestly really, really liked it. I cannot wait to release more of these episodes. Because they were just so much fun to make. And I felt like... All my editing up to that point really peaked there at that episode and I'm so, so proud of how that turned out. Now we also have to talk about the uh, Black and White 2 part of the rewrite and that is the episode Curum. And I felt like episode Curum was really cool because it was basically just an excuse for me to make a Black and White 2 arc and I felt like I did my best. There were definitely some things that I couldn't really do when it came to episode Curum because obviously I was restricted. I had to figure out a way to take a story that takes place two years after the story I just told, and I had condensed that into two months, and it definitely wasn't the best I could have done. I wish I could have expanded on some other things, such as Hugh's character. I wish I could have introduced some more black and white two characters, such as Nate and Rosa, but I did with what I could work with, and in the end, I think what happened, what the end result was, was a really good product for what it was, and of course, the black and white rewrite ends with the battle between White Kiram and Zekrom, and I felt like that was really cool. I really liked how that came out, and I'm super excited for you guys to see what comes next. I know I keep saying that a lot, but that's honestly the truth. I, that's honestly the truth here when it comes to the black and white rewrite. Uh, I have so much more planned for this universe, and if you guys do not know, all the rewrites, all these series in this kind of format are going to be in something I'm calling the Xanoverse. I think that's a really good way to do it. So basically, it's my own little separate timeline, so basically I can't really interfere with canon anymore. I can just kind of do my own thing. Honestly, if I wanted Arceus to come down and become Ash's starter Pokemon, I could do that. I'm not going to do that, but I feel like that's something I could have done because it's in my own universe now. So I can basically do whatever I want. I'm god of this universe. I am the Arceus of this universe. I hope you guys look forward to all the stuff that's going to be happening in this universe going forward. Now, I know we've been talking about the uh, black and white rewrite a lot, but we also got to talk about some of the other things, such as the analysis videos, the PWC two-part series. That was a lot of fun to make. I liked analyzing the PWC. We had a lot of other analysis videos this year, such as was the art style change good or bad for the Pokemon anime, and a lot of stuff like that. Those analysis videos are going to continue on in 2022. I don't have any plans of getting rid of those, because those are a lot of fun to make, and I want to continue doing them. And yeah. I mean, I don't really have much to talk about here. Now, something I really do wish I could have continued was the new era of the Pokemon anime series, which was an analysis series I did back in 2020 when I started the channel. I never got around to making the Sun and Moon episode or the Journeys episode, so in 2022, I would like to go back and see if I can make those episodes. I do have, like, some scripts for them that I would definitely have to revise and stuff for that. But, um, yeah, I'd like to go back and make those a reality next year. Uh, will I? Probably not because my schedule's insanely busy for next year, both YouTube-wise and real life-wise. But I would like to go and, uh, you know, rework those and then release them. I think that'd be a lot of fun to do. Now, another really big thing for the channel this year was the collaboration I did with uh, Lumio's trainer, Zach. That was a lot of fun to do. Zach is an incredible guy. He's been a friend of mine ever since I really entered the Pokemon community. And he's been awesome. He's just, he's been an inspiration. And he's just been a really awesome friend, so finally being able to collab with him was a lot of fun. And I hope to do it in the future again. I mean, Zach is awesome. I, I really don't know what else to say. But yeah, that video was a lot of fun. Although it was just a quick little giving all Mega Evolutions Dash's Pokemon video. You guys seem to like it. I mean, it is the most popular video on my channel now. 
So, yeah, I and I intend to do another one for the rivals. Now, will it be with Zach? I don't know. I honestly have no idea, but I would like to do that video sometime in 2022. So, looking back at this time last year, December 31st, 2020, uh, even though I'm recording this not on the 31st, but uh, looking back at this time last year, we have grown a lot. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. I've had a series I am extremely proud of come out. I remember in this, vi this video uh, for 2020 is when I announced the Black and White Rewrite, and now looking back on it, it's one of the best things I've ever done as a content creator. Probably the best thing I've ever done. I have a community who loves my content, and I feel like you guys also really do appreciate me for me, which a lot of content creators can't really say they do. So, thank you so much, and I really mean so much for all the support this year. 2021 has been a hard year for a lot of people, I know it has, and I hope that my content could help you guys get through some of that. I mean, I know this year was certainly hard for me at some points. It was also fun for me at some points. I had a lot of fun this year as well, but it was a hard year coming off of 2020. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the content I released this year. And I just want to say thank you, like, generally so much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support you guys gave us this year. Um, and I'm, I intend to work as hard, even harder next year on content and see where the channel goes. Uh, my goal for next year, I think it's like, what, like 7,000 subscribers? I'm hoping, hoping to get to 7,000. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting to 5k. I think 5k is definitely reachable next year, but 7,000 would be amazing. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll even get to like 100k. I doubt it. Honestly, not gonna happen. As long as you guys continue to support me, I will continue to make content. And I hope I can continue doing this for many years to come, because I have a lot of fun with this, and I don't want to get rid of it. It's so much fun to make content for you guys. So thank you, really. Like, I, I truly thank you guys. Thank you so, so much. Now, 2022. Where are we going with the channel here? Well, I want to do a lot more collaborations. I have some collaborations I've been thinking about, and I'm hoping to do those. I want to do some collaborations with a lot of other people, because this year I really focused on myself. Next year I want to make it a, a year where I just do a bunch of collabs with other people. I think that'd be really fun. And for you guys who I'm thinking about collabing with, I hope you guys will be willing to collab with someone like me. <laughs> but you know, yeah, collabs are something I'm certainly looking forward to doing next year. And of course, we obviously have more analysis videos coming. I want to do some more fun little skit videos because I haven't really done one of those in a while. I definitely have something planned for the 25th anniversary of the Pokemon anime. That's in the very beginning stages of the works, but I do have a video planned for that and I'm excited to release that as well. Um, but obviously, the biggest thing is the Pokemon X and Y rewrite. And again, I'm making this because I don't have any problems with X and Y. That's not the reason I'm doing it. It's not because I can get... Now again, the reason why I'm rewriting X and Y is not because I have problems with it. X and Y is like my third favorite series of the Pokemon anime. I'm doing it simply because I think it'd be fun to just sit down and rewrite X and Y. So yeah. And because you guys have been so patient, I decided to give you guys a sneak peek. So here is the opening, or at least the full version of the opening for the Pokemon X and Y rewrite. Enjoy. <laughs> 